Hi, I'm your host, Frank Ryle, and I'll be giving you a short introduction to this space we call the pod. Have you ever heard people say, let's walk it out, or show me, don't tell me, these expressions we hear on projects, but this room is literally walk it out room. It's literally the show me, don't tell me room. And we do this by dividing the project into three particular areas. We have what we're going to do, the craft area, how we're going to do it, the science area, and why we're doing it, uh, the art area over here. And this, this combination of these three areas uh, interwoven helps us to make a better collaborative decision making. So one of the first things you'll notice about this room is the absence of technology. It's a very physical environment, a lot of movement involved, a lot of exercise. It's extremely tactile in nature. Um, and so nothing against Slack or Basecamp or Trello or Microsoft Project or Primavera, but these are software screen-based systems that we find has a, a detriment to doing collaborative-based decision-making and certainly work on projects is more of that nowadays. So we've divided the space into the three areas. This area over here is what we're doing, and it gets into the output of what we're going to produce at the end of the project, okay, as well as interim deliverables along the way. And we call this the craft area. We also have this area over here, which is how we're going to do it. Given an understanding of what it is we have to do, how are we going to get it done with the amount of time, with the resources, with the risks that we're incurring, the costs as well as time, of course balance on this. And then combining with those two, we have this area, the art area behind me here. And the art area is where we get into the soft skills, the big question, why? Why is the business doing it? Why is the team doing it? Why am I doing it? Why am I working my weekends? Why am I working through lunch break again? And it's this combination of these three leads to emotions. And this room is actually very good at facilitating those emotions, at crystallizing those emotions, and in essence, capturing those emotions in a safe environment. And so a lot of management would call this storming. So you could see this as a storming room leading ultimately to norming and then on to performing. And so this is one room where you can do all your projects. We would say you can plan your projects, you can manage your projects, you can report on your projects, you can even remember projects that you've done. And so we like this physicality, we like this engagement of the brain in a way that perhaps software and screens cannot do. It's been very successful around the world. It's been successful here in North America. And um, please click on some more videos to see more about what we're doing. We call it the craft area. How we're going to do it, we call this the science area. And why we're doing it, we call this the art area. So click on those videos. Also, you can check us out on pmpulse.com and perhaps to get more information or schedule a visit to a pod near you. Uh, thank you for listening to this. And we look forward to seeing you in the future.